the swan song gallery and museum was world renowned for the variety in its collection. Works from Picasso to Rothko, Hopper to Herring, Basquiat to Bacon, all adorned its walls, each work being the final piece the artist completed, or sometimes failed to complete, before their deaths. The curator, a wealthy baron, assembled this assortment meticulously, scouring each corner of the globe, upending auctions and making backdoor deals. On the day of the curator's death, having neither married or fathered any children, he asserted in his will that all his earthly possessions should be sold in order to fund the museum's upkeep for years to come, after which the collection was never changed. The museum had grown stagnant in recent years, motionless in time, and accordingly fewer and fewer visitors and art enthusiasts attended. Yet the scrupulous standards of the curator had remained a constant, and so it was perhaps morbid curiosity that led our two lovebirds Svanna and Piotr on that day through the museum's welcome doors. Having first met when they were both just ugly ducklings, each believed they'd found a mate for life. On the wall of the first room was a modestly sized painting in a gold leaf frame. Wide pastel strokes formed the impression of a willow. Piotr fell mute, struck by the beauty of the thing. How could someone so close to death create such a dazzling expression of life? Svanna took a cursory look at the mess before looking down at the curator's label underneath. It detailed the short life of an artist who existed between two eras. The first, an artistic, enlightened age, followed by the second, in which the new regime reared its ugly head and cost the artist hers. The plaque went on to detail the great lengths the curator took to smuggle the artist's only extant work across bruised borders and battlefields. Savannah gripped Piotr's wing a little tighter as they entered the next room. A mid-sized canvas adorned the longest wall. Thick, red acrylic paint covered every square inch in fleshy lumps and ridges. Svanna read the label aloud. A study in teal. Teal? It's red! I think that's the point, said Piotr, smiling. I know that, said Svanna. I suppose you can just call anything anything nowadays. Piotr let out something halfway between a laugh and a sigh. Their grip on each other's hands loosened, and they drifted apart as they walked on. In the centre of the next room sat a sculpture. Its form, unidentifiable, almost otherworldly, seemed to shift in shape and colour depending on which angle they gazed at it from. I want to leave. 